Okay, these folks look like uh, they're gathered around a covered wagon uh, circle of protection, but this is actually part of a group of road truckers at the FMCA convention, or family union as they call it, in Perry, Georgia. And uh, these are all people who are living in Class B motor homes. And uh, they get together every night about this time for their happy hour and social. But if there was ever some folks that we needed to talk to about what it's really like to live in a Class B, this is the group so let's ask them yeah. you guys you guys started out in a class a and you've now downsized to an e-track that's a road track class b what what did you have before it was a 31 foot coachman 31 foot coachman and yeah, we bought it used and got a great price on it neither one of us really wanted to go that big but we took it to montana with the kids and the grandkids and had a ball uh felt like it was too big the whole time and we we always knew we wanted something smaller we don't we don't need space inside because we got space outside so uh, anyway we we didn't we never used all the storage on that one and since we've been in this one uh, we've still got a little spare space because we knew how to from from using a pop-up for 19 years we knew how to travel light so did people think you were nuts downsizing to something smaller? <laughs> yes. In fact, I had a woman come in it this afternoon, and she said, she said, I could never get all my stuff in here. But you'd be surprised how much you can actually put in it and what you can do without. I mean, I've downsized, uh, like, my pots and pans and different things. And you don't need 10 pots and pans. You don't need uh, a whole set of dishes. You, you know, you, you, for two people, even more, I think you can you can be amazed what you can do without. Other benefits of the smaller motorhome? Really great mileage, uh, easy to park. We can go into the city if we want to, which we don't care for cities, but if we want to go to a restaurant or uh, anything like that, uh, and we just do it, just act like it's a regular car. It's a little bit longer, it's, it's over 21 feet, but uh, if the parking spaces are short, we try to back in and back right over the curb and uh, and that gets us back far enough uh, and that we don't, we don't take up too much room. Tell me what the benefits are of a Class B. Well, you can park wherever you want to park. Gas mileage is great. Uh, they're just fun to handle, fun to drive. The wife can drive it. She doesn't have any problems with it. Uh, a little bit of space uh, problems, you know, you got to learn how to pack right and all that other stuff and everything. But on uh, overhaul, it's a great unit. I really love it. I really do love it. What are the downsizes about it? Well, Kansas? packing. you got to learn how to pack right. Uh, there's not that much space, so we learn as we go. We got carried away the few, first few times, and we loaded so much stuff in there. I thought we were going to go away for a year. It was only a weekend trip, you know, and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's the downsizing is the, the, uh, the bad... Uh, the, uh, packing basically you, you, you just need it. to miss but you know nobody's listening to a word you're saying because they're all looking at how cute this cat is yeah, yeah i know it. yeah yeah that's their little girl cali for calico so, so uh that must be whose stroller this is well that and the dogs they share it you push a dog in a stroller yeah she has a chihuahua <laughs> yeah. And a cat. Yes, we got a Chihuahua and a cat. And your wife, and uh, so it's the four of you in a Class B. Any problems at all? No, not really. No, no. I mean, as far as maintenance wise and everything, I've never, knock on wood, you know, never had a, a problem with it at all. We've been to New Mexico to the Balloon Fest. Uh, first trip we ever took, we went to California with it. But I had to tell her that I loved her before we left because I didn't know how it would react for <laughs> that long of a trip in a Class B. But it worked out. It worked out. It worked out really good. We're still together. We still talk to each other. So things are doing good. Things are doing well. It's a wonderful life. That's all I can say. It's a wonderful life. We have a 190 Popular. It's a 2015. We bought it last very end of July after owning a 2003 same model for about two or three months and loved it so much we decided we wanted to just upgrade right away to a new model. This is your second Class B. It's your second one in less than a year. But and it's on the, it. uh, on the Chevy chassis. That's right. So a lot of people say it's just impossible to live in one of these things. Actually not. Actually we enjoy it a great deal. My husband and I have put on probably 25,000 miles in the short time that we've had it and have just loved every minute. 
if one of us needs to get away, it's not that hard to just open the door and step out. What are the pluses of a, of, a, of a Class B? The pluses of a Class B, we actually use ours almost like a second vehicle a lot of the time, even though we have two what I would call regular size cars at home. If we have a real busy day and my husband might need to take a nap during the day, we'll just take the RV for the day. And when he's ready to rest, he takes a nap. I go shopping. I go in a library. I read a book. doesn't matter. If we need to use a restroom, it's right there. It's always clean. So, very convenient. It has everything our house has, bathroom, kitchen sink, closet, queen-size bed. Um, we've got four chairs in ours, so we can have two guests around the table that we can set up there and play cards or whatever. And it has a propane burner, stove, microwave, coffee maker. Everything you need. Everything. Dina, your license plate says mobile apartment. What does that mean? Um, I named my rig Mobile Apartment because when it was first parked outside of my house, several of my neighbors came by and wanted to see the inside of it. And when they saw the inside of it, they said, oh, that's about the same size as our son's apartment in New York. And since it's very mobile, it's a mobile apartment. So what's it like living in a Class B motorhome? I think it's great. You have a limited amount of space. So you have to be very efficient in where you put everything and you therefore have to think very carefully about what you are going to take. And for me, that's hard, but I have to think about, okay, how many sets of clothes do I really need? How many cooking utensils do I really need? How much food do I really need? And I simply then cut down because I have to. And that makes it a lot easier just to have less stuff going wherever I want to go. For me, I think the, the fun of being in the Class B is that we're able to go anywhere we want to go. We can park at a Mickey D's if we're uh, stopping for food. We don't have to worry about any place else uh, to uh, look for. So I think that is like a big plus for us. And I'll add on to that. Uh, the convenience, the immediacy of it, it's immediate gratification. You know, it's ready to go, you can get started or break it down and move on in a heartbeat. Flexibility, park anywhere you want, go anywhere you want. What about we the room issue inside? Yeah, there's something, uh, you know, they say uh, two's company, three's a crowd. Well, sometimes one's company and two's a crowd inside <laughs> a road trip, especially around the kitchen area. <laughs> So I try to be helpful in other ways where before maybe I was in the kitchen a little bit, but now that's uh, Phyllis's purview and I just help how I can. Yeah, I think that you do have to make sure that there's a division of labor as it relates to that, uh, the kitchen area or even movement uh, in the van, you know, just to decide where you where you're going to be and who's doing what at what time so in the morning I get up and I do the coffee and then while he's doing coffee I'll maybe make fruit you know get the fruit ready or something so we can one eat healthy and that's the uh, the good thing about it because the fridge is a big fridge in our RV and uh, that's just perfect for us because we like eating fresh we're already on that mindset of downsizing anyway. Mm -hmm. Have been for some time, and, mm -hmm. and in fact, Phyllis found some book on that, and see, she she's making an art form out of downsizing. <laughs> so we're learning to live with. We share a toothbrush, for example. <laughs> that's no, not quite no, true. No, <laughs> that's not true. I don't want to <laughs> hear that. That's, no, that's not quite true. <laughs> it's uh, close, but, but not true. But you really, um, you really don't need a whole lot. Well, as you just heard, there are all sorts of compelling reasons to get a Class B, just as there are compelling reasons for people to get larger motorhomes. You know, when it comes to the RV lifestyle, it's all good, no matter what size coach you get. On the road, I'm Mike Wendland. Thanks for watching.